Now for many of you, this is your first bandsaw. It'll be the first time that you do a resaw cut. We're going to talk about safety and about a few techniques that you're going to use as you're pushing wood through there to keep you safe. The first thing you want to do, of course, is to adjust this upper guide post here to bring it down. You want to have about a quarter inch or so between the wood. Now sometimes your wood will be on a slant and you want to have that above the tallest portion of the wood. So right now we've got that set. I'll go ahead and lock that knob down. So now I've got most of the blade covered except for the part that's going to be cutting the wood. I'll bring the fence over and get it adjusted here to make my next cut. Now as I push this through the saw, what I want to be mindful of is uh, where the blade is and where my hands are. I don't want my hands to slip and get into the blade as I'm pushing it through. And I like to maintain a safety zone around the blade here of about three or four inches. So I'll begin pushing this through here and I'll take this hand and I'll hook it over the fence so that I know that it's safe on the back and begin pushing with it, again with this hand hooked over here so I know exactly where it's at and pushing it through. And as I get close, I'm going to reach around the back side and pull this piece through with my hands. So the technique from start to finish will look something like this. I'll go ahead and start pushing it through. I'll guide it and keep it against the fence with this one. Keep my hand on this side, push it through, and as I get into that danger zone right here, that three or four inches, I'm going to go ahead and switch around, bring this around back. My thumb is going to be pushing the front until I get enough control in the back to pull that piece through, and that'll keep me safe and out of harm's way. Let's go ahead and set up and make this cut. Okay, the dust collector is on. I'm going to set up and line up for my cut, bring my piece back just a little bit, lock my fence, start up the blade, let the saw come up to full speed and begin my cut. That's a beautiful cut. That's the type of cut that you get off of the Resaw King blade and this uh, 1412 bandsaw does a nice job with it. And this is your first veneer that you've made on the, uh, the bandsaw. You can go through and, and check to see how things are uh, adjusted by looking at your sample here. Now this is an example of a, of a book match and you can go through and do four way book matches or do some other types of cuts with it as well. Uh, I'm going to go through and resaw a few more veneers off of this block right here and then we'll cover uh, a few suggestions, some tips, some safety items, and then a few maintenance items on this bandsaw. Here's an example here of a nice little four-way book match. If you joint your pieces first, you'll have nice tight joints as you put this together. And this might be the top of a, uh, of a nightstand or a small tabletop. Now if you're doing these types of repeated cuts like we just did here, now would be a good time to adjust the scale on the front of your uh, bandsaw here. And this will read right off the face of the fence. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and make a cut, measure this piece here to a known thickness, and if it's at half an inch, I'll go through and set the scale by sliding it back and forth to exactly half an inch on the scale, lock it down, and I'm ready to go. That'll help you make repeated cuts time and time again very easily.